On June 7, President Trump rallied in Ohio for his $1 trillion infrastructure plan, a key campaign promise that's now part of his domestic agenda. One of the plan's goals is to fix America's bridges, which received a C-plus grade in the American Society of Civil Engineers 2017 Infrastructure Report Card. Overall, U.S. infrastructure scored a D-plus, and the ASEE estimates the country needs to spend $4.5 trillion by 2025 to improve its roads, bridges, dams, airports, schools, and more. Every state has at least one structurally deficient bridge, which the U.S. Department of Transportation DOT, defines as when one or more key bridge components, for example the deck, superstructure, or substructure, is in poor condition. There are 185 million daily crossings on nearly 56,000 structurally deficient U.S. bridges, according to the American Road and Transportation Builders Association. Using 2017 data from the U.S. Federal Highway Administration, Auto Insurance Center found the most structurally deficient bridge, based on the highest number of components in poor or worse condition, in each state in Washington, D.C.